My father's family originated in uh, Morocco, in Casablanca. He went from Casablanca to Vienna, where he grew up. To escape the Viennese army, he came to America. My grandmother, my mother, and her two brothers, uh, my Uncle Lou, who was older than she, and Neil, who was younger, they had an apartment with a spare room, and my father was looking for a place to live, which is how they met. When her mother died during the flu epidemic of the First World War, my uncle Neil, her younger brother, was 11 years old at that time, and uh, there was a question of how will he be raised. The uh, city government wanted to put him in an orphanage. So my mother and father decided to get married and start a family so that he wouldn't have to be sent away. They call me coquette and mademoiselle And I must admit I like it quite well I was fortunate enough to be born into a very good-looking family and I had my share of that too. And every boy and then every man I ever met wanted to get to know me a lot better. It's something to be the darling of all, like Grand Pantheon, the belle of the ball. I kicked off my shoes and felt the good earth under my feet. I got my first job singing with a 22-piece orchestra at the Biltmore Hotel in New York. Their supper club was called the Bowman Room, very, very elegant. And uh, in those days, bands like Benny Goodman and, and Tommy Dorsey would play every night. And there's the girl singer sitting on a chair in the curve of the piano and from time to time get up to the microphone and sing a song. And this guy, Stanley Hilsick, was hanging around all the time. And he was a cute guy and fun. And before I knew it, I was walking down the aisle at a wedding I didn't want to go to. I was uh, just 21 when Bunny was born. Uh, she was born, weighed nine and a half pounds, and was the, the sweetest, cheeriest baby imaginable. And uh, Robin was a whole nother story. She, she had other demands and needs and desires. I remember she was about five months old and still waking up at two in the morning uh, for a bottle until I said, that's enough. Finally, she adapted. It was a snow day, <laughs> and Stanley couldn't get to work. And uh, the, the children were playing in the basement playroom, uh, Bunny and Robin, and uh, we had a little interlude, and that was the beginning of Richard. <laughs> I remember the night that Richard was born. It was the most beautiful baby with a head of glorious black hair. I was seven years older than you, so I never really had much of a relationship with you. I was like living my life already. and You were just a pain in the neck baby who needed to, his diapers changed. You and Robin, however, fought all the time. Robin was a pistol. She hit me right in the bread basket right here and knocked the wind out of me. And I called down to them. I said, OK, kids, come on up here. I have to talk to you. And you and she were biting and fighting and throwing each other around the house. They were still hitting each other as they came up into my room. We loved each other, we hated each other. I remember mom telling us frequently that in a crisis, you will be there for each other. So enjoy it along the way. Now make up and kiss each other. And they did. We have depended on each other and we have been there for each other and we always will. You'll see me in Vegas or even in Spain. I follow the sun by boat or by plane. It's any old millionaire in a storm. Cause I've got my furs to keep my heart warm. And maybe I drink too much with the crowd And maybe I laugh a little too loud My head may be aching But it's unbound And 
Life is an adventure and to go, go take everything you can. Don't step on anybody's toes. Be kind, be nice, love the people you love, be good, and have a ball. Have fun. Oh, hi, it's Jay Leno from The Tonight Show. You did, Nicki Minaj, and I think you did a fabulous job. Oh, you got my heartbeat running away. What do you have to say to Jay Leno now? Maybe you ought to come back with Mickey Minaj and do me. Say goodnight, Gracie. <laughs> Good night, Gracie. <laughs>